بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمد ونصلي على رسول الكريم أما بعد علماء اكسبلين ضرورة كي وقت جها ذهن جاتا هي اسفو يقين كهتا ويأفر at the time of need our mind goes to that is called yaqeen the mind goes to Allah then our yaqeen is in Allah it goes to makhluk then it's to the creation so in deen we are taught all necessities at every given time we are in need of Allah and when our needs are fulfilled also we should thank Allah so when we eat Alhamdulillah الذي أطعمنا وسقانا Food has not come from our own efforts but from Allah. The strength is not from our own efforts but from Allah. Alhamdulillah الذي أحيانا بعد ما أماتنا We went to go sleep, you were dead. It is Allah that gave us life. When a person leaves in themselves Alhamdulillah الذي أذهب أن الأذى All praise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has removed that which is harmful to us. So at every given point whether it's before or after we are traveling سخر لنا هذا All praise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has made this conveyance subservient to us. So the believer is taught at any given time his heart should be connected to Allah before an amal, during an amal, and after an amal. And that's the second muraqaba which we need to be doing is that before we do an amal and we read in the adiyya while we're busy, Allahumma lak alhamdu wa lak al-shukru. After you finish the amal also, ponder on the masnoon adiyya. When we leave in the house, Then we read the dua. Bismillah, I tawakkal to Allah, wa la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. Again, yeah. When you leave the house, we need Allah. So then we guarantee protection. Hudita, wa uqita, wa kufita, wa dana'anu al-shaytan. The greatest need of mankind is hidayat. He needs protection from the shayateen of man. He needs protection from the shayateen of jinn. Now he gets the protection. So we are in need of Allah subhanahu wa all the time. Somebody needs to go to a doctor. Ulama say we must read Surah Al-Salat. We need to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Which doctor should I go to? So there are many doctors. And this after doing the necessary steps that we should have done, the last stage is now we decided, okay, there's a need to go to the doctor. Oh Allah, take us to the right doctor. That's not enough. Then we need to make dua. Ya Allah, when I go to the right doctor, Let him follow the right procedures to check me. That's not enough. Ya Allah, after him following the right procedures to check me, because sometimes doctors send you for different tests, it's a wrong test. It takes him a long while to identify the problem. Then after him choosing the appropriate test, let him identify Make the shis and find the right sickness. Let him identify the correct sickness. Because sometimes a lot of tests are done. After the test, the doctor says we have this problem, but it's a wrong problem. Identify. So his evaluation is incorrect. Then ya Allah, after his evaluation and identifying the correct illness, ya Allah, put it in his heart. And show him, Ya Allah, teach him what is the correct medication to be administered. So 
So the doctor has identified the correct sickness, but he prescribes the wrong medication. So at every given stage, our hearts need to go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There was a person traveling one day to the market and he met his friend. So his friend asked him, where are you going? He said, I'm going to the market to buy a cow. So he said, but you didn't say inshallah. He said, no, I'm going to the market. I have the money in my pocket. The market is open and there's a lot of cows. So I'm going to buy a cow. He said, fine, but I would su su suggest this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala advised Nabi alayhi salam, the incident is long. وَلَا تَقُولَنَّ لِشَيْءٍ إِنِّي فَاعِلٌ ذَلِكَ غَدًا إِلَّا أَيَّ شَاءُ اللَّهِ Don't say I'm going to do something until you don't say inshallah. So anyway, on his return, he asked him, mashallah, you went to buy your car, what happened? He said, no, inshallah, I was uh, going to the market and inshallah, um, I, I had money in my pocket and inshallah, when I got to the market somehow, somebody managed to steal it, but inshallah, now I'll have to go home and collect some more money inshallah, and when I get that money inshallah, I will come to the market inshallah, and I will buy the cow inshallah, and I'll take the cow home inshallah. So human nature, we always wait for the wrong to happen, then we turn to Allah. A simple thing like I'm going to the shop to buy a certain item, money cannot buy, the shop cannot provide. The thing that I'm going to buy is not going to satisfy my need. Everything is based on Allah. There were some students and their shoes used to get stolen and the Ustad's shoes shouldn't get stolen. So they came to the Ustad one day and said, Ustad, our oh, shoes are getting stolen, yours doesn't tell us of the secret. So he said, from the day I bought it, sure I made a year. Tell life, somebody has to take it and they in need of it, I make a need of Sadafa. So the students decided they're going to also do that. So they came back to the Ustad again. They said, Ustad, our shoes are still getting stolen. He said, that's the difference between me and you. You people are making the need of Sajapa for the shoe so that it doesn't get stolen. So we have to go into the depths of our heart and check. Somebody will ask, how do I know what yaqeen, what tawakkul, what trust I have in Allah? That's not a lesson. Each person, the amount of effort that he makes, you will see, it will be visible in him. Somebody has 1% yaqeen, somebody has 2%, somebody has 50%, somebody has 80%, somebody has 100%. Each person will know. We say on certain things later, what will you tell a person, put your hand in the boiling oil? He won't. Because a person that has 100 yaqeen, that oil does not burn, he'll put his hand in it. So each person, he's his own teacher. Like love, hood, adab e mahabbat. Sikate, that love teaches love. Yaqeen teaches yaqeen. Somebody puts on uh, protection, so he wears his normal clothing, no protection. Somebody says, I wear gloves. Somebody wears boots. Somebody puts a bulletproof vest on. Somebody puts ceramic plates on. Somebody puts the mask on. Somebody puts the entire protection suit. Somebody puts a bomb suit. Each person knows what level of protection they put on. It's not something that somebody can tell you. Like one daughter who was pregnant told her mother that, Oh, Ami, when I give birth and if I'm sleeping, you must wake me up. Since she was young, she never given birth, so she's asking advice from her mother and requesting her that when I do give birth, I may be sleeping, so you must wake me up so I don't pass that stage and I'm in sleep and slumber. So the mother tells the daughter, let's forget me waking you up. When you give birth, you'll wake up the entire locality. So your king is such... That when it enters the heart, the more effort we make on that. 
the more we will see the benefits. But effort needs to be made on it. Now, generally, different people making effort in different directions. But we have to see the correct effort. So one was dua. Secondly, speaking about the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thirdly, on the masnoon adiyya. We need to start pondering on this adiyya. And start thinking more deeper on each ni'mat and bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Otherwise, a person passed the entire life and make their own effort. There was a Hakim, and uh, he was quite famous, and the king became ill. So the king used all the different doctors money could buy, and he failed. Then he got some Hakims, never helped. So his courtiers said, this one famous, uh, famous Hakim, go to him and see. He is quite famous. The king exhausted all avenues. So he summoned the Hakim. The Hakim says, I don't go to anybody. You need to come to me. So the king made the Tarkhas. He said, I request you to come to me if you don't accept my request. First, it was a command. Now he requested. Then I will come to you. So the Hakim agreed. He came to the king, he checked him up. He said, I have uh, identified the problem. You need to see green, that's the cure. And you need to do that well for one month. And the king, the king uh, passed the royal decree, the Hakim left and said, after one month I will come. So the king made a royal decree of him to be painted green, all the courtiers, everywhere we need to go, when he traveled anywhere, they need to make sure everything was green. The only thing he needed to see was green. So after a month, the king came back, he seen everything green, he said, I'm coming here to see the king. He said, no, we need to paint you green, and we need to give you green clothing. He said, what are you talking about? He said there was an easier method. All you needed to do was make green glasses for the king. A deen of yusrun. Deen is easy. Akhirat is easy. Yes, it comes with a price, but we need to show we're ready to pay the price, make the effort. Walk the walk and talk the talk. Jannah is closer to you than your shoelace, you can achieve it. When Naag Mithradali and Jannah is the same. The choice is yours. How much effort am I ready to put into it? What sacrifice and mujahada am I ready? It's not going to fall from the Asmat. One person who told he was a warrior went to a tattoo and said, I need a tattoo. He said, what kind of tattoo? He said, I need a lion. He said, no problem. Where you want it on my shoulder? He said, it's going to be painful. He said, no problem. He took the pen, he put it on the person. He said, oh, what are you doing? He said, I'm drawing the lion. He said, which part? He said, okay, okay, remove it. Again, he put the pen on. As soon as he picked it, oh, what are you doing? He said, I'm drawing the lion. He said, which part? He said, the legs, okay, leave it. Started again, put the pen, oh, what you doing? Drawing the line. He said, what? What's the body? Okay, leave it. Again, he put the pen, break. Oh, what you doing? So, that was what I said. He said, you want a lion, but you don't have a lot of the heart of a lion. You want a lion on your body, but you don't have the heart of a lion. Go from here, get out. First get the heart of a lion before you want an image of a lion. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the topic of making amal wa akhiru ta'wana. Anilhamdulillahi rabbil alayhi.